Jackie Dell has been practicing hard. And we end the afternoon Don't session with what should be a thrilling encounter. Well, let's hope it's not a pants performance. And Dell on his return to the big stage. Larry Butler straight away signalling his intentions. 100. And he, he set down a marker against Alan Warren yesterday, but this will be a different challenge. Delhi can see his barrels caked in chalk. That was a trademark of Keith Deller. Twenty five. Forty-five. Slow start. Ray Butler. Good switch. Ninety-six. Yeah, a bit, yeah, a bit. Just overreaching there, Keith Della. Well, you know Keith Della well, Mark. Uh, in and around all the darts events, isn't he? And as you were saying in the previous match, 85. he's really focused on this one ever since he got the call, ever since he got the invite to play in this World Seniors Darts Championship. It's something he's earmarked as a potential success. He's cleared space on the mantelpiece for the trophy, I've heard. Yeah, well, as soon as the announcement came, he upped the practice. It's been a, a good year in the pipeline now, this event, and... 82. He's always got a plenty of exhibitions going 100. on, Keith, so... Like I said, he had that game with Ricky Evans, didn't go to plan, but... Match practice against the PDC Tour card, uh, card holder is good preparation. But hasn't settled here early, Keith. 48. Can he lay up here and... Apply some pressure. Big 18 to do so. 138. Larry, you require. What was that? 52. 138. And applause from the crowd. He's waiting to pounce if Butler flips his lines, 42. and he has, and the pressure's told. Della for the opening leg. You require 40. Double top. For Della, and in the it goes, leg. and Keith Della Keith pinches Della. the opening leg, and he loves it. And break a throw, he's up for it, Keith. And three. Second leg, it's Keith to throw first. Game on. Well, that was a signal of intent, that reaction, Chris, wasn't it? Keith yeah, Dellett. it really was. A good omen for Keith Dellett. Well, that was a signal of intent, wasn't it? In response from Larry Butler. I was just about to say, good omen for Keith Dellett. When he won the world title, he played an American in the first game. Nicky Varachkill. Well, playing Larry Butler here. Started brightly. It was really good yesterday, as I mentioned, against Warrener. And in his interview afterwards, he, he basically said, look, Keith, if you can keep up with that, then all power to you. Well, Della has stolen the first leg of the match. But Butler has responded well, a ton, backing up the 180. Butler looking to, to strike straight back. He missed two for that opening leg. And well on his way here to levelling up. Good leg from Larry Butler. Larry, you require 81. 81 then, treble 19 or treble 15, treble 19 it is, but doesn't have to go for the 12, so it's double 16 at the end of the combination. And he's he left Keith Della high and dry in his leg. 130. The switch, but Larry, in all likelihood, it's in vain. Butler 
up at one apiece. That's better. Flipped his lines in the opening leg, did on this occasion. A couple of breaks exchanged. Now he's butt the levels up, one leg apiece. He's had a few nicknames, hasn't he, Keith Della, over the years? Not just the ones you call him, Mark, the ones that he's actually gone under. The Milky Bar Kid, the Fella, Dell Boy. I do like the Fella. Keith, the Fella, Della. Started okay here. To where we commentated from in the World Championship, there was a, a truck where he spots for me. He had a dartboard up there, he was practicing in between games. He, he shares the duties at the World Championship with Colin Lloyd, so a chance to practice. It really has been interesting to see the difference in how players have approached this tournament. Some have just been unable to practice due to other commitments, or practice much at least, but some have made sure they do. Walking around the hotel, there's a few dark boards strapped to hotel doors. The magnificent trophy, the honour of being the first ever World Seniors Darts Champion and £30,000 at stake. Yeah, it's a great prize for Ndana. All would be remembered, the inaugural World Seniors Champion, Larry Butler, the World Match Play Champion, beat the menace Dennis Priestley in the 45. final. We'll hear from Dennis later on this evening. He's going to join Mark in a, a match later tonight, as he did yesterday. It's nice as well, isn't it, Mark, that some of the people that aren't actually playing have still come and got involved in the tournament. Yeah, I said that earlier on, and I think you know, Dennis Priest hasn't been here for a while. It's probably nice walking around, fond memories of the venue. Won the first... 109. World title Peace here. Require 87. We probably would have had more. Keith just checking the scoreboard here. Oh, excellent dart. Double 18. Double 9. Game In it goes. Della on top, but he gives it large again. He means business, all right. There's three breaks of throw to start oh, set one. Keith, Keith Della will now Dello. throw for the opening set. Not great averages, but fascinating encounter. And you know, both players pretty clinical. Yes, Larry missed a few darts in the opening leg, but Della's had the chance and a lot of shoulder in that third dart. But Butler responded well when he had his throw broken in the first leg. Can he do it again? He's shown in recent years he's still been a, a great great player showcasing that there in the second maximum of the match he's fifth of the weekend 140 there's the pin of treble here Larry Bell a good dart needed that Still tough to call this leg. Della's in again. 100. Are we going to see a fourth consecutive break or are we going to see Keith Della wrap up set one? All the makings in the early exchanges have it been a close, competitive match, hasn't it? But the looks at 148 to level the set. Not going to do it, but it's been pretty one-sided stuff so far today. It has to be said. John Walton beating John Park 3-1. Terry Jenkins beating Lisa Ashton by the same margin, and a 3-0 win for Dave Prince over the legend John Lowe. Yeah, I agree with you. This one. 100. May go deep, may go up the side and set. We may be seeing fourth breaker throw. Tops for Larry Butler. He's got to work his way in, otherwise, Keith. He can 
So Della is going to get some darts for the opening set. How many? Double 16, he only got one, he should have had two. Yeah, made a mess of that, Keith Della. More darts on Harry Butler. The two apiece, it is two apiece. Can he find the elusive holder throw that's needed? If he wants to win this opening set, it's been a bit patchy, but fascinating nevertheless. But you'd have to argue slightly better with the statistics. But he's making a little hash of finishing the back end of legs, and that's not a great start to this deciding leg in set one. And it is Della who squandered a set dart. 61. Oh, good recovery there, sparing some blushes by finding the lipstick there, Keith Della. Quarter final lineup almost complete now. The winner of this match to take on Martin Adams tonight. 82. In the final of the four quarter finals. Got Phil Taylor against Kevin Painter on the Circus Tavern stage, a big highlight of the evening's 57. action. Before before that, 100. Terry Jenkins taking on John Walton and Dave Prince against Robert Thornton. Some real contenders going head to head. Neither player can find a hold of throw. And Della's wrestled away the dart again here. takes him down a 158 he's gonna get six minimum to play around with that 158 and take the opening set 135 he to require 158 he's not gonna take it out but he's not gonna have to 135 winning Butler wasn't on a finish he just stayed straight he would have been Poor last start from Keith, was there a bit of indecision whether to go for the 20, the 18, he didn't either, he was right in the middle. But still got a chance now, 117 for set one, well it's gone now and Della's unravelling slightly in this last leg. How crucial will this next 30 seconds be come the end of this game? Double 14, the targets, now double seven. Oh, Keith Della has a shot at the 76. I'm sure he won't go the same way. 16. Tops for the first set. Just drops low. But this is no gimme. Awkward double, double seven. Larry Butler for the first set. Two sets darts missed for both players. Now three for Larry Butler. Hits a three to get one more dart. No score. And he was looking for the double two, couldn't find it. Della gets 20. another go. And that has all come Game from leading seven. double seven. And it's Della who pinches the first set. Five breaks a throw. And Keith Della has a one set lead. Larry Butler fluffed his lines on double 14, double seven. And Della, the 1983 world champion, hits the front. Set to, to nil to the good. He's the American Larry Butler. Giving it large as well, wasn't it? At the end of that, Keith Della. Aggression on the hockey. Here at the Thank Seniors you. World Championship. They're still up for the fight. As you said earlier, waiting him's the wolf. Martin Adams, and that will end proceedings tonight. How impressive was he last night? Yeah, really good, a plethora of big, big finishes. Five, wasn't it? Five big ton plus checkouts. Yeah, and a 153 to cap things off, book his place in a, a spirited performance from Richie Housen. Adams had too much. 134. The 157, the highest of the tournament so far. That came from Adams in that game as well. 154 today from John Boyd. John Walton impressive as well in the opening match of the day. 
Yeah, been an interesting tie between him and Terry Jenkins. I think they've played at a similar standard at times. We are reaching the business end of this tournament. It's been fantastic to see icons of the hockey strutting their stuff. We all want to win the title. Make no mistake about that. You only have to watch Keith Dellard's face during this match to know how much it means to him. 95. He's really up for it, isn't he? Peter require 164. And we're going to have first holder throw. 92. Larry require 132. And unless Butler can complete the 132, Dellard would have the chance to end that trend of breaks. I'll tell you what, it's a decent guide if he does get the treble 19. And he has. Can the eagle land the bullseye? Oh, seven. Oh, great effort. Peter From Larry. 72. Della, another one of them. Tops. 30. Still no holder throw. Butler split in the 25. 25. For the opening leg in the second set. Can he complete the devil's finish? On double eight. 17. He can. He's had opportunities, Larry Butler. Keith oh, Dellis stretching up to that double five. There's a bit of panic in there now from the both Larry of them. Butler for the opening leg. Oh, they miss set darts, the pair of them, and it's carried on. It's spilled over into the second set, but Butler carries on what is a, a breakathon so far in this match. So if I was Larry Butler now, I'd let Keith throw first. You don't often see games like this, dear Chris. It's we always talk about in not so much in set play but leg play, getting that elusive break. Well it's all about the elusive hold here. Sixty. Who can hold themselves together and in turn hold their throw? You can just hear Keith Dellar then just trying to G himself up. Come on, he shouted. Sixty. Racing to the hockey, isn't he? Impatient to put things right. Yeah, he knows on his own throw that things can only get better. But he's a setter. He has dropped the opening leg. Forty-one. Slightly laboured stuff from Butler at times as well. He's not quite hitting the mark that he did yesterday. Ninety-six against a wounded. Warriner. Alan Warner though. Let's get that shoulder issue addressed. He needs to play some more darts, he says. He's great darts from Larry Burnham. Alan Warner says over the past sort of six to eight years, he's not really played enough darts. He's got so much on, but he admits he'll have to find some time to practice. First things first, get the shoulder right, but a different sort of challenge. Larry Butler today. Twenty-nine. There we see Russ. Larry Russ Bray, the voice, the legends in the minds of all generations. Not just the players, is it, that make an impact in this sport? What impact can Butler make here? He's having a look here. Surely he's going treble twenty and bullseye with Della on one hundred and fifty. 92. Yeah, good setup. Surely a hold of throw coming now. I feel like we're harping on about it, but it's just very unusual to have six legs played and not have one. And oh yeah, you have mentioned it a lot. 78. Yeah, this is very unusual, Chris, isn't it? But yeah, I'm going on a bit. Come on, Larry. Stop me boring everyone. That holds a throw. Good lad, Larry Butler. Doubles his lead in set two. And we've got a hold of throw. From the bald eagle. And Mark Webster is as happy as Larry. After Butler ends the trend of breaks. Oh, 
moves to the brink of levelling up the match at one set apiece. Larry Butler just regripping there. 44. Second dart. Bit flat this second set from Keith Dell. That's better. He pinched her first, didn't he, and put a lot into that. Maybe having a little break after this set to regroup, giving someone a chance to uh, wipe the chalk off the 20. It's flowing off Della's darts. 41. Yeah. He's, there's a lot of head shaking from Keith Della going on. But... If you'd offered up both players one set apiece at the break, they'd have took it. Eighty-nine. So Larry Butler closing in on a comfortable set to square up the tie at one apiece. One hundred and thirty-seven. Oh, takes him down to Shanghai. Dell it. Not really offered up much in this set. Comfortable for Butler, Larry but Butler can he finish it in style? Sixty. Would have left double top. Della gets a chance just to extend 56. the set. Needs 118 when he returns. Needs to require 118. Yeah, I don't like that last start. That treble 16, it may be irrelevant. Ten plus finish coming in for Keith Della. No, so. Was unlucky, Keith. Larry requires 64. Yeah, so you're saying you should be on a two data where it's just single to double now, Mark, rather than having to find a treble, but he's managed to do so. Yeah, he's tidied up, but it, you, know, you can make, make things easy for yourself. And 56. Look, he tidied it up in the end, so it wasn't too costly. He missed the doubles, 50. but Della to get a leg on the board in set two. Work his way down. Game the third Does get the double ten. And what was that, Chris? I believe it was a hold. A hold of throw. The first one for Keith. Game off. To get back in the set. Butler can do the same. And the set will still be over. 81. Steady start from Larry Butler. And all the quarterfinals tonight from 7 p.m. And they're waiting for the lineup to be complete. Jenkins and Walton, Prince Thornton, Taylor and Painter, and then the Wolf Martin Adams awaits the winner of this last second round match. Might be making a move here, Keith Della. 140. 140 puts him in the picture. Oh, Butler. He's had darts. He had darts to win the first set. He's already had a dart. Well, two to win this set. Keith Della. He's going to leave a well, he should leave a finish. 85. He has done. So plenty of a butter to ponder here. 100. That treble just eases things 100. a little bit. Need to require 150. But again, you talk about board management, Mark. He could have gone for the bullseye 25 segment with that last start. And Guaranteed himself a dart at least the ball when he comes back. 92. Yeah, because he may bring the ball into play here. He has done. Look, he's probably going to need a treble 17. It doesn't look a great lie, that one. You can tell by the way he's looking around. Yeah, the, the grimace from Larry Butler. Far from ideal that first dart. 51. Has it proved? Webster knew there was 55. no way, no room at the inn. 
and Delboy could be back in business. 35. Uh, had his chances. Larry Butler's going to get some more darts for this set. One at double eight, one at double four. Larry, you require 41. Nine for double 16, the preferred route, you feel. Double 16, four, the second set. And in it goes, Larry Butler beds the double and levels the three one. We did predict this would be the most closely fought contest of the day and it's going to look first like leg, first leg. It's Larry going that first way leg. but Damon. what have you made of Keith Della so far? Of course we saw Larry Butler yesterday and he did produce a slightly better display than he's managed so far today. What have you made of Keith Della? Is the practice paying off? Well, Thinking he's pumped up isn't he? He's got to, I think he's got to just control things a little bit. When the first set a chance to level up that second set but no you'll take it two sets played one set all and look he's channeling it in the right way now first max for Keith Della Larry Butler you'd have to say he's had the more opportunities but Keith just slightly more clinical but the balance of play one set apiece fair scoreline for me that's the way to come back from the break isn't it Delightful darts from Della. First max of the match. But we're looking to respond in kind. Lucky deflection there from Larry Butler. Attacking the throw straight away, Keith here. 83. For a ball with his last start. Just to round off the 120. Two trouble visit needed for Larry Butler. There's one of him. It's a great visit. That's what he does best, doesn't he? That he uses that dart below the wire. He's trying to hunt down treble 14 to leave tops there, Keith Della. Larry requires. An argument to stay there, wasn't there? But maybe with Larry Butler on 160, he didn't want the drama of double 11 and will come back for 48. Put a one leg lead and set, set three, I should say. It's a leg that he started with a maximum all out attack. And in goes Tops. And a wag of the finger. Della takes charge of set three straight away. Best leg of the match 14 dart leg, clinical from Della. And start the leg the way he did. Muttering away to himself there, Keith Dellett. Got to keep a lid on it. He's in the lead. He's got a break. It's his advantage. 100. Just see. 134. Took him a visit to compose himself in this leg. He'll hit a big score or, or win a leg give it some and then maybe that just spills over into the following visit. 86. It's been one of those games. It's, you wouldn't feel anyone's going to race away with it from here, Chris, is it? We've had exchanges of breaks, holds. It's all been a bit of a mess at times, but fascinating nevertheless. A close encounter to end the afternoon session here in Perfleet. 99. Well, as you said, Dell has been up for this for a while, but do you think that Larry Butler further antagonised him with his comments after the match yesterday? Well, no, he's entitled to say it, wasn't he? He said if that's the standard, if Keith Della doesn't meet it, he's not going to win. And Look, Larry Butler hasn't met that standard, and had he reached that standard, he'd be cruising, but he hasn't. And Della's just digging away. Peter require 167. Said earlier the biggest finish in the tournament so far is a 157. And it's still going to be 157. 95. Didn't have to go. Butler on a bogey. Della will return looking at 72 to double his lead in this third set. As comfortable as he's looked in the match so far. Double 12. Ah, brilliant stuff. Yeah. Good set. Keep Della. 14 darts and a 17 dart, two darts at a double, two legs on the board. Got control of the third set. 
Come on, Come on. Nine, two, yeah, looking really solid now all of a sudden Keith Stella and actually maybe starting to look like the better player of the pair the averages are almost identical but for most of the match it's been Butler better off in that department will change slightly now with that 140 visits yeah, Butler has just got to win this leg force Keith to throw out the set minimum requirement here for the American it's a good visit. Good stuff from Larry Butler. He's wrapped up three maximums now. The American ace. Just looking Larry to make Della a little bit more uncomfortable because it had been pretty serene progress so far in set three. Mm, Keith Della's last appearance in the PDC Major back in 07 in the UK Open. Larry Butler, as we mentioned, qualified for the 2015 Grand Slam of Darts. He came for a, a BDO qualifier. Two, two spaces are up for grabs. Larry Butler got one. And the late great Andy Ford and got the other one. So a great montage in the break there. 44. Andy Fordham, legend of the sport, and sorely missed. Yeah, the tribute was played out to the crowd in the Circus Tavern, who were all on their feet applauding. He included actually his first three darts in that Grand Slam tournament, which were a 180. Yeah, against Adrian Lewis, and he beat Wayne Jones in a group. He actually set up a winner takes all match with Michael Smith, which Michael Smith got the better of, but it was great. See Andy Ford in that Grand Slam. Butler's missed three darts there at double, and it's allowed Keith Della an opportunity to wrap up this set. Another there, or well, the single will do, but it's double six. Great effort. First dart, the double miss from Keith Deller in this set. Larry required 20. But the pins the double 10. He's got to find the break though. Keith Deller throwing for the third Keith set. Throw I think Keith Deller's playing a little bit faster than he was before the break. He's yeah, yeah, definitely. It's a better rhythm from Keith, and uh, look, he's upped his level of performance, so it's helped him here. But this is the leg. But responding. What timing from Larry. He's got to find a breaker throw. Start to the max. Larry needs to make sure it doesn't get embroiled in the pace. In the first couple of sets, Della was pretty fast to the hockey, but it really has got into the swing of things, hasn't he? Butler carries on. Good visit from Keith Dillon needed here. Switching down the board. Another one of them leaves the 170. Unlucky. He hasn't been rattled by that 180, Keith Dillon. doesn't want to be relying on a break of throwing a last leg decider from the position he was in 2-0 up in this set with fantastic first couple of legs came back from the break by hitting a maximum went out in 14 darts and then 17 missed a set dart of course at the end of the 1-2-6 combination but he may have to take out 170 94. good he leg this from the pair of them 12 darts thrown from Larry Butler in a leg he had to win to keep his hopes alive in this third set and a bit of breathing space for him poor visit from Keith so double top 2-2 two, two. Keith will be even more disappointed with that 21 shot now he's unravelling a little bit here Keith Dell he's been impressive in this set and he saved that's his worst six starts of the set for the last six starts in this leg. But let's level us up. Can he clatter in off those barrels? He can. And Della's two leg lead has disappeared in this set. Butler has the darts to take it. Keith Della looks sick, doesn't he? 
furious with himself. 34. He was playing his best darts of the match, Chris, and when you're playing your best darts of the match, you've got to make them count, and he'd have expected to have converted the set. But set one he won by finding a break in the last leg. The hubs do the same here. And lots of young guns in the crowd today. The futures of darts watching. The legends of darts here, the Southampton Junior Darts Corporation Academy. We've come for a day out at the darts this afternoon. JDC doing great work to create the stars of the future. Well, here watching the stars of the past. Yeah, JDC. So we'll start up by Bruni, Steve Brown from Bristol. Just lost his tour card, but it's good to see Steve Brown back on the tour. 99. Pivotal leg here. Butler wants to try and use that dart. But not that side of it. 24. These are big moments. And the tension's telling, isn't it? Uh, one set apiece, two legs apiece. Not a lot in the scores. Look at that 12 darts thrown. Not down to finishes. This is a nervy leg. Well, it was a snatch of dart from Butler, but it found the way. What's well, Keith Della got in response here? 41. Couldn't leave a finish. Could have perhaps been a little more creative with that visit. Talk about PDC World Championship, Peter Wright. Trousered half a million pounds for his title win just over a month ago. Keith Della back in 1983, won £8,000. Good visit from Keith. Big moment now, Larry Butler for the set. Oh, great job, double 16. And still... But he can't find it. It didn't look like he set that last start right, did he, Chris? He was rattling about in his hand. and uh, He's had darts to win set one. Missed. And Della punished. Is the same going to happen here? It doesn't. Della pulls it low. But to complete the turnaround in set three. Yeah, Keith Della took the first two legs of this set. He's missed opportunities to win it. And Larry Butler... Has snatched it away from him. First Taking the lead in this match. The American leads by two sets to one. And Della has the darts in this set. If he can win his throw, we'll go to the first fifth set decider of the afternoon. And you have to win by two clear legs in a final set. Della's just got to clear his head here because he'd be disappointed. We have seen a couple of games that have gone into the tie-break situation, most notably Kevin Painter on his return to the Circus Tavern stage when he played Tony O'Shea remarkably, he played 28 legs of darts in that match, and then in his second round tie, played just nine legs. Yeah. A mixed bag from Kevin Painter, but impressed, impressive in both games. Had the grit and determination to see off Tony O'Shea in his first match. But just the, the sheer quality of his performance got rid of Wayne Warren. Looking forward to seeing Kevin back on that stage. Bill Taylor later on this evening. Third match of the evening. 47. Well, whoever wins this one will play again in the final match of tonight against Martin Wolfie Adams. That's good advice I can give the winner is don't leave Adams a shot. Impressive finishing last night with Richie Housen. A 150 when it seemed on the brink was the shot. Richie Housen waiting to break and he would have thrown for the match and from there it was all one way traffic from the Wolf. Well, that's excellent timing. Piling the pressure on this 1-2-6. We've already seen Keith Ella miss double six for this finish earlier on now he wants a bullseye 101 Larry 
Butler to strike an early blow in a set that he knows if he wins, he's through to the quarterfinals. 14 for tops for the lead. And there would be a fourth consecutive leg. 41. Can't find double top. Stella has been missing. These aren't easy when things aren't going your way. Double eight. Double four. On the fourth of it in. And just books the trend. Stella holding his throw in the opening leg of set four. After a scare. Just clinging on, isn't he? Clinging to the cliff edge right now, Keith Della. But held his throw. It's a good dart at double four because panic could have been setting in. There was no emotion there from Keith Della. Just trying to keep a lid on it. Yeah, it's been an interesting difference between the demeanours of these two darters during this match. Larry Butler's expression hasn't changed at all throughout the course of the contest, but Della has really worn his feelings on his face. Good from, Keith De uh, good from Keith Della, good from Larry Butler, because when you lose a leg, you've got to respond, but here goes Keith Della. Good few of those darts there, kicked in chalk. They wanted the maximum. There's often debate about dart players' points, I'm not going to start it off again, but how do you think players would respond to a, the board being doused in chalk on the tour these days? It's interesting, isn't it? I think they'd be very, very annoyed by it if they lost the game and not care one bit if they won. What, you're saying that's what dark players are like? Excuses? I'm not having it, Chris. 56. Key to require 146. So Butler will return. For double eight. 40. Square up set four. Keeping the pressure on Keith Della. It was a long way away. He's just having to resettle here. And all over the place, Larry Butler here. Good last start. Those first two weren't convincing, but credit to when you're coming down for double two. No one likes double two. Well, Butler straight at it. One leg apiece. And Della. Under pressure again now, knows he's one break away from being in massive trouble. You mentioned the chalk on the board, we just see like a fuller shot of the board there. It kind of tells you how, how well Della's played, but how much of the chalk is spread out on the board, doesn't it? Almost like a heat map. You can't tell us how many ones and fives here, because you can't see the chalk on the one and five, can you? But yeah, come on, Keith, use some orange chalk or some something next time, let's be fair. Use red chalk to match your pants. It's certainly not been a pants game or pants performance from either. It's been intriguing. And Della is just keeping his head above water here. All the pressure on Keith Della, similar to a penalty shootout, isn't it? If you, if you go in second, you're always chasing and... I wouldn't have thought you'd have brought up penalty shootouts today, Mark. Yeah, halfway through I thought it wasn't the best idea, but I was already committed. It's all about the darts. Forget football. Sticking to darts. Can Larry Butler stick to Keith Della in this leg? 99. He's right there with him, but Della's still favourite to take it. Down to a finish first. Treble 14, now the bolt, wasn't far away, on the green but not in the hole. Larry requires 76. Double top for Butler. 56. 
has had chances on the Della throw in both legs. And it was Della who got rid of 25 in the open leg on double four. Not on this occasion. Butler converts here, will throw for a place in tonight's quarter final against Robert Thornton. Robert Thornton, Martin Adams, I should say. But he has been a bit sketchy on this, these doubles, Larry Butler, and it proves again he's letting Keith Della off the hook. Team to require eight. The reprieve. Can he make the most of it? Down for double two. In it goes. So if Butler is to win it in this set, he'll have to hold here and then break in leg five. 85. Made the hard work for himself here, Larry Butler. He's had chances, but Della hanging around. Not look comfortable in this set, Keith Della, but do it enough. Reminder, Keith Della won the first set, dropped the next two. Now we're heading for our first fifth set to side of the day. Eighty-seven. A great response to the World Seniors Darts Championship. The crowd packed into the Circus Tavern. Time to see the heroes of yesteryear. And Larry Butler, at the age of 64, still showing what good darts he can play, but he has been playing at top level tournaments in recent years, hasn't he? Probably more frequently than Keith Deller, more recently certainly than Keith Deller. Yeah, well he still plays on the American circuit as well, a lot of competitors. Still plays a bit of soft tip as well, Larry Butler, so still likes to put himself out there. He's been in the World Cup on a few occasions. Okay, just got to set himself double 15. Just next door, Larry. 18. Keith just Della, just thinking about the next leg, surely now. I just saw that moustache in the crowd. Just wondering if that was a, a tribute to Butler. 95. Yeah, the moustache. Larry, you require 30. And and there the it is, two ball. legs apiece. Butler. It's all or nothing now for Keith Della. You hold throw or you are out of the first ever World Seniors World Championship. He'll take that, that's okay. On the balance of play, that's okay. Yeah, and the way through as well, all three darts were there or thereabouts, so a good settling start for Della in a leg that he has to win to avoid falling through the trap door. Then enjoying themselves, and it looks like we might be in, heading to a deciding set. That's Larry Butler, see, and his shoulder in that last stand. Larry Butler's found a treble on both occasions, but has drifted into the one segment on both occasions as well. It's giving Keith Della breathing space, but credit to Keith. He's played a good leg here. He's under big pressure. And he's also found trebles in every visit in this leg, and he's down to a finish after nine darts. One hundred and four. But they're just getting back within striking distance. This is where Keith Dell has got to hold himself together. A poor visit here. Let's Butler back in. Good dart. Yeah, needed as well. Needed from Keith Deller. To get himself to a two darter. It's all in his control right now. Yeah. Probably got six here, Keith Deller. Tops. 29. Well, we saw Martin Adams, who awaits the winner, in fact, hit 153 to clinch victory against Richie Housen. Can Larry Butler follow suit? He won't. Della will return. With three darts in his hands, and double top in his sights to force a deciding set. Work his way down. Nervy from Keith Della, but he pins it. Relief from Della, and there's the emotion. 
two sets apiece. We go to a deciding set. Larry Butler was waiting on 58. Big dart from Keith Dello. Larry Butler had chance in that set, but Keith Dello held himself together. And we are now at a one-set game for a place in the quarterfinals. 100. Well, as we mentioned at the start of this, the previous three matches were fairly one-sided. Particularly Dave Prince that preceded it against Jordan Lowe. Lowe after the match, saying it's probably the last time you will see him on stage. Bowing out after having a go here at the World Seniors Darts Championship. This is a game in which a pair have been evenly matched. Both missed opportunities at times. 136. It's just felt from early on that it was always going to go the distance, and it's proved to be the case. Dello. Well, I was going to say rest of the advantage, but back on Butler. Well, you feel whoever gets through will maybe have to. 58. Had a few points on that average if they're going to challenge the Wolf later on this evening. Good stuff from Butler here. Just when Della looked like he was pulling away in this leg. Back to back two treble visits from Larry Butler. Takes himself down to 66. Yeah, and almost forced the error, didn't he? From Keith Della. Coming from nowhere. Double 16 now. 15. Yeah, just to see that a few times with Larry Butler, just a resetting of his dart in his hand. But a lunge in here from Keith Dellert. Finds it with the last one. Larry requires 16. And there were four darts on the spin there from Della that missed the big segment he was going for. And Larry wants a little segment and he finds it. Take a lead in the decisive sets of the final match of this afternoon's session. Della. Della could be in trouble here. An opening a bit of 40. We saw Richie Howson when he beat Daryl Fitton in the deciding set. He was clinical, rattling off three legs into the deciding set. Larry Butler looking to do the same. And it'd be a great time to break. You do have to win by two clear legs in a deciding set. Really put Butler in a strong position. Should he break at the first available opportunity? Visit needed from Keith Della, but still, Larry Butler, favourite for the leg, which would make him favourite for the match. Good little spell from Butler here. So often said that darts is about timing. What a time to have such a good little spell. And Keith Della. Well, it was a rescue with that last start, but he's been spraying them all over the place over the last few minutes. Butler's got time on his side here. 36. Yeah. He rounds it off, but won't be happy with that visit. And it's an opening for Keith Dellert. Surely couldn't... Oh, he's staying up there. And right to do so, and he's worked his way back into this leg, Keith Dellert. But Butler... 100 points away from a two-leg lead. Treble 19 for the double of the same segment. Can't find it. 84. Tidies up. Pressure on Keith Della. 14 for tops. Tops to level as earth. And he pins the double top. And he's worked his way back in there. It looked like the tie was slipping away from Keith Della. Takes out the 69. Larry Butler can't get rid of him. One leg all, two sets all. A bit more chalk on the darts from Della. A bit more aggression. 
124. Showing a level of tenacity, isn't it? Again, after the big release, it's followed by a faltering visit. Yeah, just got to keep a lid on it here. But when will the doubt start to get the better of Larry Butler? You'd have to say, on the balance of play, he's been a better player last couple of sets, but... Sheer grit and determination of Keith Della just to hang around and pin those doubles at the key time. It's a proper battle, isn't it? Real darting ding-dong between the pair of them. Della battling Butler, but I think at times also battling himself. Lots of head shakes. 30. And retrieving his darts. But so far, neither player managing to shake the other one off. Oh. Is the real winner Martin Adams? He's sitting in his room with his feet up, watching his potential opponent go to the wire, and only a few hours to recover and get ready for their quarter-final. Yeah, it's a pertinent point, isn't it? The wolf will be howling at this. 81. Larry, you require 147. Oh, impressive seven. over Richie Housen. Mm. Quick turnaround for whoever completes victory here, Butler looking to go one away 59. takes it down to 88 but he was careless at the back end of the previous leg and if Della can fire in a 140 here he can he knows he needed another one Larry, you require still on a finish Eighteen. A treble for a dart at double seven a single Leaves Butler the ball. 45. It's still on a knife edge. Butler has been less than convincing on the doubles and having to come back and split 25. He should have not gone for the ball. I mean, Keith's not going to take out a big finish when he ignores the ball, is he? When has he done that in the past? Well, there's an explanation on the back of his shirt there. Double 16 for Butler to move within one of victory. 11. And that's where Keith Dell will be disappointed. Keith it's always awkward splitting finishes, especially in this pressure cauldron. And a poor leave off 1 2 1 5 1. And he's making a mess to 1 2 3. 84. Kicking himself, Keith, there. Butler to hit the front. 32. Two darts missed at this target in the previous visit. That one's much closer, and he may be able to make use of it. But that one might have just eclipsed it a little bit. You see a step to the right. No and he can't get it right. It's right on the wire. But Della now has an unexpected opportunity to break the butler throw. And he does break the butler throw. And there's the aggression. Keith Della knows he's almost there. One more big leg for the 1983 world champion. And Keith Della could set up a clash with three-time champion Martin Wolfie Adams. Della throwing for a place in the quarter-finals of the inaugural World Seniors Darts Championship. Needs one more leg, but if Butler can break, he'll need a couple. And we'll be in a tie-break situation. And how can Butler refocus? He's blown it in this set. Got to regroup. Switching down. There's some nerves on that stage. In goes Della. Is this his moment? Nervy dart. Real tension in the arena here at this iconic arena. But Larry Butler has produced a big shot at a big time. Great response from Larry Butler. 58. And Della shaking his head, he would have hoped. Just for a couple of tons. Goes Butler again, but really the score has not been a problem, has it? 
his doubles. So Butler is going to get half a dozen darts from 142 to force a tie break. And they now look at the 25. And upstairs. 62. Wow, this isn't done yet. What can Della produce? 97. Picks off. He leaves 107. 80 for two apiece. Tops of Butler. And he finds it. Only needs one down on this occasion and levels us up at two legs apiece in the deciding set. Della denied darts for the match. Two clear legs. Should we reach five legs all, then the eleventh leg will be a sudden death leg. And the referee, Charlie Corsa Fien, explaining to the crowd here at the Circus Tavern the situation that we've been explaining to you. We are now into a tie break. That means you must win by two clear legs. If the score reaches five all, there will be a sudden death leg with no bull before that. Butler having won the bull in the practice room keeps that advantage if it goes that way. So the onus is on Keith Dallas to find a break. Butler, just got to keep holding his throw, but I don't want to bring up holds of throw. I don't think I've mentioned it much in the match, but it won't be that straightforward. That's a distant memory, that those consecutive breaks, six of them. Feels like it was in 1983. 60. Lengthy affair. Larry Butler's moustache was black at the start of this match. 28. Moustache. Well, Keith Della has been involved in some epics. He was involved in a game with Jim Watkin. The match play. 121. Oh, such a long game. Rod Studd referenced it as Keith Della started the match clean shaven and ended it with a beard. But it was that longer match, and it, this is going that way. 136. Yeah, Larry Butler only played nine legs, didn't he, yesterday? He's in 46. leg 24 here. Larry require 90. Is he about to win leg 24? May stay there. He's gone 15s. The bull if he wants it. 58. But he decides to lay up Mark. 18 for double 16. Just good thinking from Larry. Mind you, oh, we're going for it. Been overly prolific on double 16. He missed this target in the third leg of the match. Allow Keith Della to break. 16. Doing it again. Della was waiting. 107 for the match in the previous leg. Didn't get a go at it. Can't take this out because that left 99 problems for Keith Della. Larry requires 16. Butler hit the front. Double four. He's hit double. This is edgy. Edgy, oh. edgy. And the doubles are costing Larry Butler. Key to require 60. Double top. Double ten. Clear bed this time. 40. But Della can't find it. Can Larry locate double two? Larry to require four. Two sets all, two legs all. There's plenty of nerves on that stage. Went with the dark butler there Two. and didn't reset himself. Della to hit the front again. To require 20. Double 10. Fifteen. Well, he supports Ipswich Town, Keith Della, that first dart landed by their stadium. Yeah, Nervy darts. Massive margins. Butler thought that was in. 
has to take a step back. That's it, Larry, that's the way. Della Punish had the chance to really turn the tie in his favour once again. Could have been, perhaps will think should have been, throwing for the match right now. Credit to Keith Della. The disappointment of having an opportunity to throw for the match again. Starts the leg with 1-3-4. Good switching down the board. 58. Just a drop of the head from Della again, but so far has the lead in this leg. Two trebles though from Larry Butler. Get him right back in the same postcode. One hundred. But they make his move here. 82. Uh, Keith Dell will be okay with the situation here. Tell himself six starts to 208. Uh, pick a big treble. What can Butler produce here? How much pressure will Keith Dell be under? And he goes for that 151. He's going to be under a bit. Plenty. Be under any more pressure. He's forced to take this out now to stay in the match, and he's not going to take it out. So Butler will return with the match at his mercy. And surely now Larry Butler and what has been a topsy turvy affair. Double 16 to end the thriller. And he finally does it and gets rid of the 1983 world champion. What a matchup between the two. Disappointment from Keith Deller. He played his part in what was a classic.